What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. This is actually a requested video, and it's what to do if your PlayStation 4 is experiencing the red light or the red light of death. Let's get right into this. So I actually talked about this easy fix in a previous video, but it didn't really explain what the red light is. So what the red light is, instead of your PlayStation 4, either the bar or just the other little light if you have the Slim or the Pro, instead of it being white if it's working properly, yellow if it's on standby, or blue if it's not working properly, it actually will be red. That's the other light it can be. Now, sometimes there also is a message on the screen explaining it, but what the red light actually is, it's caused by overheating. That means your PlayStation 4 is overheating. So to fix this, the first thing to try is to make sure that your PlayStation 4 is dust free. You're gonna to want to clean the outside vents with either compressed air, a duster, or a vacuum, and just the outside making sure there's no dust accumulating on all of the vents so it can vent properly. The next thing you're gonna to want to try is making sure that your PlayStation 4 is in a well-ventilated area, not in a closed cabinet, and not in somewhere that collects dust. I've seen a lot of scary stuff online with other setups and where people have their consoles, and no wonder why some people actually have overheating issues is because their console is not ventilating whatsoever. There's either a lot of dust accumulating in and around the console or they have it closed in the cabinet so there's no airflow going to the console. So you're gonna to want to make sure it's in a well ventilated area. You're also gonna to want to make sure there's nothing on top or around the PlayStation 4 blocking any of the vents. That will definitely cause overheating. Now, if your PlayStation 4 is overheating and you did check all the other stuff or fix those problems, you're gonna to want to turn off the PlayStation 4 and unplug the power cord. You're gonna leave the PlayStation 4 for about an hour to cool down and then you're gonna plug it back in and turn it on and see if it is working properly now. If the PlayStation 4 continues to overheat, you should open up the PlayStation 4 and clean out all of the dust. You're gonna to want to clean and possibly replace the fan if it is a fan issue. You're gonna to want to test it and make sure the fan is actually turning on properly as it should. You're also gonna to want to remove temporary the fan. You're gonna unplug it and move it to the side because by the heat sink on the PlayStation 4, sometimes a lot of dust can accumulate there and blocking the actual flow of air going out of the actual console. So you want to make sure that you open it up and you clean all of the dust out of the console, all around the heat sink, anywhere the air will flow, and also in the fan as well. While you have it open, you might as well go and replace some of the thermal paste on your PS4 if you're able to do so. Some people aren't comfortable doing that, and if not, I recommend taking your PS4 somewhere to do it especially if you're not comfortable even opening up your PS4. If you don't wanna risk it and you don't know really what you're doing, simply take it somewhere. Usually it's around $20, $25 from what I've seen online with people uh, saying they can clean out your consoles and that, which isn't too much, but it definitely is worth learning how to do it yourself, especially if this is an issue you have all the time or with different consoles. You don't wanna always have to take your console somewhere to be cleaned or fixed. Sometimes it can pay to actually learn how to do it yourself. So hopefully if you do all of that and you do check not only if the fan is working but making sure all the dust is cleaned and the thermal paste is replaced and that you do have it in a well ventilated area, your PlayStation 4 should work again and it should no longer have the red light of death. For the red light, most of the time, a lot of people don't even call it the red light of death because it is something that can be corrected because it is caused by an overheating issue. So hopefully this has helped you fix the issue and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.